Well, our next guests are here to turn an extraordinary, an ordinary meal into something extraordinary. How do we do that? A little chocolate helps. They've also got some details on the Virginia Wine Showcase at the Dulles Expo Center. Welcome back, Joe David, Thank you. author, along with Chef. Uh, Jonathan Burroughs from Veritas in Afton, Virginia, and we thank you both for coming in today. Well, thank you very much. Thank Why you. don't we start with uh, telling us a little bit about the event that's coming up. Well, uh, Jessica, it's going to be a, a grand event. We're going to have about 300 varieties of wine there, and there's going to be all types of wine, all from you know dry to uh, sparkling, mm -hmm. like champagnes, and we're going to have all uh, Food. We're going to have food demonstrations. I'm going to be there with Jill Prescott. We're going to talk about techniques of cooking. Jill's going to do the cooking. Jill was uh, with Julia Child. Right. She's an old friend of hers. And then we're going to have a match with a wine. Fabioli is going to uh, provide the wine. Then Jonathan's going to be here. Yes. You're getting a preview now of what Jonathan's <laughs> going to do at the event. And he's going to be, uh, he's with Veritas. Mm -hmm. And so they're going to have their wine tasting and this chocolate. So what you're well, seeing here can yes. be tasted in person. Why don't you tell us what you're going to prepare for us today? Well, well today is going to be a simple Valentine's Delight and it's a dark chocolate mousse. Okay. And um, I just went ahead. And what we've done is we've got some uh, Ghirardelli chocolate mm -hmm. with some butter. And we've melted it. And uh, we, the correct way of melting it is on a very low heat. Mm -hmm. So you get this really nice glossy look. It looks great and it, it smells phenomenal. And I love how you've created a double boiler so you don't need this expensive equipment at home. You can grab a metal bowl and a pot. Well, as I say, the French have been doing it for centuries. Yep. So there's no sense changing it. So once you get it to the stage, what's our next step? Next step is um, once it's all melted, we added we add the egg yolks. Okay. You can get the pasteurized eggs, so you okay. don't have to worry about things. All right. Once you do that, we mix it really good in there. Uh -huh. And what this does is it helps makes the chocolate smoother mm -hmm. and reduces the heat a little bit. So when you add your other ingredients, it doesn't clump up on you. But you just continue to mix really good. And there you can see how it's starting to yes. cools down. Absolutely. Now, it's getting stage, darker, it seems, almost. Uh, and we've got, right in there. <laughs> <laughs> we've got sugar here. What's uh, our next step with well, the sugar? Well, the next step is actually we're going to mix the whipped cream. OK. Everybody loves whipped cream. Nothing uh, wrong with that. And you already have it pre-mixed for us. Well, yes, I did. Because if you do it by arm, it takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> so that goes into the the, uh, the chocolate concoction. Correct. And what do we have here in the uh, in the, the stir, the kitchen no, This aid? is egg whites okay. with some sugar. And what we do is we mix it to a soft pea. It's a little noisy. Yep. <laughs> it takes uh, 30 seconds in the mixer. You can do it by hand, but it takes forever. And that you way. want them to peak when that's your sign that they're done, correct? Mm -hmm. I'll show you how what a nice soft peak it will look like. Okay. And uh, that's it's it. In pretty good shape, yep. And then you all fold the, the ingredients in together? Yep. Now the key is when you make a mousse, you want volume. Okay. Now the, so it's the, fluffy. Yep. Now the technique is called folding. And what you do is you're basically you're wrapping it around. Mm -hmm. You're not whisking it like a metal whisk because then it deflates everything you've just put in. It takes a little process, but once it starts going in. Okay. Well, we've got about a minute left. So we fold in the whipped cream first. Yeah. I imagine then we move over to the, the meringue that you've created here. Correct. And then let's take a look at your finished product, actually. Okay. So we can uh, show folks what that will look like over here. You've created these little cups, correct? Correct. We nice just chocolate. have a chocolate mold. Mm -hmm. Uh, we use a very, uh, very dark chocolate because it's nice and hard and it won't crack on you. And then we fill it with the chocolate mousse mix and we accompany it with some chocolate dipped strawberries with Wonderful. Now, well, this tell is us about be, the this, wine. This is, oh, the wine? Is, yeah. Oh, the Veritas. Oh, this is a port. It goes beautifully, brings out the characteristic, very variety of characteristics mm -hmm. of, the, uh, of, the, uh, of the chocolate. So you're going to enjoy the chocolate. They, they blend together beautifully. Oh, we didn't put the date in. This is going to be the February date. 6th and 7th. That's at next week mm -hmm. on uh, Saturday, Sunday. You can sample wine and food. You're going to have a wonderful time at the Dulles. Expo Center. Center. Thank you. Nothing that, that is wrong with wine and food. Oh, and absolutely not. We're <laughs> going to have some great people there, too. Excellent. So. And coming up, we're going to try some of these delicious yes, things will. here. Keep it here. Two temperatures should drop about 10 degrees. Wow. And you really had a chocolate spill on the roadways yes, this morning? Yes, 95 headed southbound <laughs> right past uh, King's Dominion. Overturned tractor trailer, chocolate all over the place. Chocolate uh, The delay is not so sweet. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. We're enjoying it. The next news is at noon with JC and Devin.